a sewist's best month because we get to celebrate all the wonderful things that we have made over the days, weeks, months, and years. Uh, but today I'm here to just talk about the things that I made in April. You know, I had good intentions for April. Honestly, if I had finished sewing all the things I started, I would have like a gajillion things to show you guys. But April was that month where I was like, squirrel, and this thing, and that thing. Like I couldn't stay focused on just making one thing. I have projects in various stages of being finished. <laughs> Some I've just done like the pattern altering and cutting out. Some I've actually cut out the fabric. Some I've actually stitched some things together and just put it away and started a new project. I, oh, I hate when I do that, but I do have a few things to show for April, just not as much as I had hoped. But uh, the first thing is the Seaside Culottes, you guys, I told you I love these. These are the same uh, culotte shorts that I made for the Stylemaker Fabrics Spring Tour, the ones with it had that pretty blue, lilac -y floral rayon voile. This was my muslin, my wearable muslin for those. So it's actually very interesting because the the changes I ended up making to the uh, Stylemaker Fabrics version all involve crotch depth. Yes, crotch depth. And I can tell a big difference when I'm wearing those versus when I'm wearing these. But this is just some like polyester lining fabric. It does get a little bit staticky, but I'm thinking that as the humidity rises here in North Carolina, that won't be a problem for much longer. But they are really cute. They still fit really well. It's just those little things that I can tell when I'm wearing one versus the other. I still totally adore the um, Seaside Culotte pattern. If you need like a floaty, easy breezy, easy to wear, comfortable short, highly, highly recommend grabbing this pattern. I've already made two. One of the projects that I started sewing but didn't finish was a third version of those. I think all I have left to do is the hem and putting the elastic in. <laughs> I got really close on that one. Um, and then I have Sky McCall's. How beautiful is... <clears throat> okay, whoops. Um, as I was saying, how beautiful is this little cowl neckline. I absolutely adore this pattern so much. So I made it out of a knit. This is technically a knit from the juvenile section at, uh, I think I need a hanger that has grippies on top. Um, from the juvenile section at Joanne. If y'all wanna know a little fun little hack for whenever your stuff doesn't stay on, you just put little rubber bands on the ends. Um, so I have a lot of thoughts about this pattern. The pattern was actually designed for wovens. So I did just size down in order to get this version. Look, oh, so cool. Um, who knew you guys were gonna get a little life hack tip in this video as well. Um, so, okay, so the pattern is intended for wovens. It's actually also intended to be cut on the bias, which I didn't realize when I bought it, but makes me so, so, so happy. I love bias cut dresses. I think they are so flattering on every figure, on every body type. Um, and I assume that this pattern would be no different. I think the cowl cut on the bias would be super, super gorgeous. Um, and I do want to make it um, as it's intended. I do have some problems with the finishing on this pattern though that I wanna sort out before I cut it out of another fabric. First of all, this back neck facing, it's kind of floppy. Second of all, I think that it's technically supposed to sit up on your shoulders higher. And I think that if I were to take some of this out, I would be able to achieve that. Thirdly, as you can see, the finishing in here is just real elementary. So I would want to try and figure that out before I you know, just go off and make another one. But I do love this version. I love wearing it. You're gonna see it on Me Made Monday this week, coming week, this next week, soon, soon, soon. It's really cute and really comfortable and I do love wearing it. Um, okay, first of all, how cute, how cute. Are you dying? Are you dying? I got these little like <laughs> newborn baby hangers for honey's clothes. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I made this one. I don't have the pattern numbers on me, um, but I will have them in the description box. 
Um, but these are both quick sew patterns. I know that for sure. This is um, like a little dress version. I can imagine her little body in it. This is like, she wears it like this. <laughs> she goes around. How stinking cute, right? I had to put the bows on. Of course, the fabric does have bees on it. I got this fabric at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I made her the smallest size. Is it extra small? I can't remember. And it fit perfectly. It has the little Velcro closures on it. I actually was able to film her in this. So I'm going to do like a pattern review, a full on pattern review for Honey's clothes, because let's be real, people need to know if dog patterns are good quality, just as much as they need to know if women's patterns are. And then this one is just like a little t-shirt, also quick sew. Ironically, I made it the same size, but she was swimming in this. So I ended up just cutting off the neckband, cutting apart all the seams, and then re-sewing them at an additional 5 8 inch seam allowance. So I ended up taking quite a bit out of this little t-shirt. Um, but I'll talk about all of that in the pattern review when you guys see that. It's not going to be in lieu of a Me Made Monday. It's not going to be in lieu of me um, and my clothes. But I will be adding them to the channel as I get them done. My goal is to do one a month. As you can see, I got kind of <laughs> a little overboard. Got a little excited about them. They just take no fabric and maybe 30 minutes to sew that I mean they really are great in that way all right next I have this little tote bag and this little zipper pouch so the tote bag is what I actually sewed during class for my skill pop um class we did one on this lovely tote bag fully interfaced fully lined I've had a few of my students from that class reach out with pictures of their finished ones and they absolutely love them, which makes me so, so, so happy. Um, but now I have this really cute little market tote. I love this fabric so much for a tote bag. It came from Joanne, is from their new spring collection in the like cotton canvas section. So over by the home deck fabric over by the outdoor fabric, but not that. It's 100% canvas. So technically you can make clothes from it, um, but you could also make a ton of really great accessories like pillows, tote bags, and other things like that. My next class for, my next project class for Skill Pop is a zipper pouch. So I ended up making three of them for demo purposes. How cute are these? All from scraps from my stash. You might recognize some of the fabrics either from the channel or from like quilt shops. Um, but I did, um, everyone is gonna make this big one here in class on May 25th, I believe. Um, I ended up going a little extra and did uh, the, I applied like the little vinyl to the inside so that it's um, waterproof because I thought it would be great for, like the little one would be great for honey's treats. Obviously I could do like cosmetics in here when I travel. I just thought having a waterproof inside and wipeable too would be um, really, really useful and not something that I have or really see a bunch in like the stores where you can buy. Um, but as you can see, it's got a little boxed bottom, nice big size, uh, fully lined, a really, really great zipper pouch that everyone is going to learn to make in my skill pop class. So I'm excited about those. I don't know how many different projects um, the, we're going to cover in the projects classes. We're kind of just doing them and then getting feedback and seeing, like for this one, people that were in the tote bag class said, I'd really love to make something that uses a zipper. So that's why we did the zipper pouch. Will we get to clothes and do stuff like elastic waist skirts, maybe circle skirts, something along those lines. Maybe we're just trying to feel everybody out, see where they are. The majority of people are in terms of their sewing skills. And then we'll kind of go from there. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. But finally, I have my Sew Together 21 make the Peppermint Magazine thread. Why is there a thread theory and a paper theory? Like, couldn't they have just gotten together and said, okay, you can have the something theory pattern company. I think it's thread theory. Oh, I think it is. Um, they collaborated and made this little pocket skirt. Here's mine. 
It was on the channel, Me Made Monday, on Monday, this just past Monday. So if you didn't catch that video and you want all the details on this, including how I was able to kind of play around with the stripes and get like all this kind of fun stripiness happening, um, you can go check out that video. But as you can see, that's it. My, my door is empty now. Um, I don't have anything else because that is all I sewed in April, which is okay because that means that I'll have lots of great projects for May, um, be able to kind of introduce them and premiere them in um, during Me Made May, which will be fun. But I want to know what you guys made, if you made anything fun, who is like full on into like summer clothes, skirts, shorts, dresses, all of that. How many of you are still hanging on to winter and spring as much as you possibly can with sleeves and pants and things like that? Um, also, my Mother's Day gift guide went up. I didn't make anything for it, but um, I did talk about some of my favorite projects or products that are that I think would be really great for mothers. But I want to know, are you guys sewing anything for your moms? or anybody who's a mom in your life, even if she's not your exact mom. Um, I think that would be really cool too. I don't have any Mother's Day sewing plans at all. Um, I just don't really like sewing for other people. So I'll just make honey a bunch of stuff and it'll be a Mother's Day present to me. <laughs> How does that sound? But, um, but yeah, so that is gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.